I hate drugs. Barilin mo sa ulo. Yun ang utos ko. We give the opportunity to the former president to have his uh, opening statement. I so move, Mr. President. Mr. Chair. Second, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Yes, yes uh, it was never the intention to deny the former president to give his uh, opening statement. But upon motion major, uh, of my colleagues, we are going to give the uh, president the uh, first First uh, priority now to give to give us his opening statement, Mr. President, uh, you are recognized. Before anything else, uh, Senator, uh, I'd like to thank the committee for inviting me. Uh, para once and for all malaman natin ang totoo so I would like to request sa inyo na huwag ninyo akong ituring president or kaibigan treat me as a witness and uh, tignan natin kung lalabas yung totoo. So, with your permission, at maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat po eh, as you're inviting me. I'd like to start my mandate as president of the Republic was to protect the country and the Filipino people. Do not question my policies because I offer no apologies, no excuses. I did what I had to do. And whether you believe it or not, I did it for my country. The war on illegal drugs is not about killing people. It is about protecting the innocent and the defenseless. The war on drugs is about the eradication of illegal substances such as Shebu, Cocaine, heroin, marijuana, party drugs, and the like. As a menace which ruins people, families, communities, and relationships, and tears apart the social fabric which binds society together in peace, harmony, and brotherhood. It is not unlike slogans which serve as calls for a better future such as the war on waste, war on corruption, and war against climate change. I have always viewed people addicted to illegal drugs as victims and patients requiring medical help and not as criminals. That is why with the, draw, with the war on drugs slogan came into being coined as first as a message to the, to the people of Davao City to stay away from illegal drugs but at the same time, I had a drug rehabilitation facility constructed in Davao City, a city government expense, manned by Davao City government doctors, psychiatrists, nurses, and health workers, among others, to look after the complete 
rehabilitation of those addicted to illegal drugs. I believe then and I still believe now that rehabilitation and not fear of death or incarceration to be the key to the return of the addicted individuals back to the mainstream of a just and forgiving society. But no mistake about it. I hate drugs. I loathe the purveyors, the merchants, and the pushers of this demonizing element. I have not failed to emphasize this from the very day of the campaign when I ran for the presidency in 2016. This was my covenant with the Filipinos who believed in me. And to this day, must still agree with what in government have achieved. It is unfortunate that drug-related crimes are on the rise again. Every day you can read about children being raped, people getting killed and robbed. And just recently, a drug den was raided within the Malacanian complex. This clearly manifests that the purveyors of this menace are back in business. Hello? Go ahead. The Filipinos are anxious and distressed. Self-preservation is still the first law of nature. It is instinct. It is recognized in our laws as self-defense. That is why I have always told the police authorities and operatives to be mindful of this basic law of nature. However, I tell them not to abuse their authority and power and hindi ko talaga pinayagan yung abuso ng polis o sundalo kailanman sa buong buhay ko and as mayor for so many years and as president in the guise of protecting themselves but when your very life is placed at risk and it can be stuffed out in a matter of seconds then and only then must you act accordingly. Repel the aggression only in self-defense. Alam mo, matalo ko nagturo sa aming bayan sa police academy. When I was a prosecutor, to augment my income no na bago akong nagturo ako sa polis. Ang sinabi ko talaga sa kanila, when you are arresting a criminal, you are not supposed to request him to surrender. Rather, you have to overcome the resistance. However, pag ayaw, it's the duty of the police is to overcome the resistance kung ayaw mag-surrender. At kung may baril, at kung tingin mo, sabi ko sa mga polis doon sa academy, mamamatay ka, barilin mo, 
barilin mo sa ulo, patay mo at least one less criminal in the community. Yun ang utos ko. When I was a fiscal and I was a professor doon sa Police Academy. Yun ang toro ko sa kanila. No quarters given. No quarters asked. Criminal ito. Repel the aggression only in self-defense. Do not make orphans of your children and widows of your wives. I don't want that in my conscience as mayor and president. Hindi ko mabigat yan sa konsensya ko. I have warned But before that, my job as president was never easy and it was not meant to be. I have tried to do the best I can to address the problem of illegal drugs firmly and without compromise for all of its successes and shortcomings. I and I alone take full legal responsibility sa lahat na nagawa ng mga pulis pursuant to my order. Ako ang managot at ako ang makulong. Huwag yung pulis na sumunod sa order ko. Kawawa naman ng tatrabaho lang. Yun ang gusto kong sabihin sa Pilipino. At mabuti, niyaya ninyo ako dito. Once and for all, yan ang gusto kong sabihin sa tao. I have warned all of you as your president. Then, and as a private citizen now, Drugs will destroy the Filipino. It will destroy my country. And I will never allow it. Baski ako empleyado sa gobyerno o private citizen. I will do what is necessary to protect my country, my community. At yung mga anak natin. This is a matter of principle. At pagpagkamatayan ko yan. Maraming salamat.